Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make editable templates in Canva to sell on Etsy. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to make an editable invoice that you can make on Canva and then you can go and sell on Etsy. One store that I saw in particular today on Etsy has sold over 42,000 of these, which can equal out to a pretty penny. So they're selling them for about $2 and some change. So if you do the math, that's almost six figures. So what I'm going to do now is actually switch over to my computer, turn on a screen recording and show you guys how to make an invoice editable template from start to finish. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm right here in Canva. So you literally just go to canva.com and I'm going to go to where it says to create a design. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a custom size, okay, 8.5 by 11 inches for the US letter size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by going to where it says text and to where it says add a heading. And here I'm going to type in invoice. And then obviously I want it to go to the top. And then I'm going to go and change the font just to make it look a little bit more, you know, prettier. There's a lot of different options. I try to stick with all the free fonts. That way people can actually come into Canva and edit them themselves without having to pay for the pro version if they don't already have it. So if you guys use any pro elements in Canva while you're creating a editable template, then the person that goes to edit it will actually have to have a pro account. So you want to try to make sure you're using all free elements and free fonts. And the way to know if it's free or not, or well, the way to know if it's pro or not is right here, you guys, you'll see that little crown. That means it's a pro element. That means it's pro. But don't worry, there's still so many awesome things to use in Canva and so many pretty elements, so many pretty fonts that you can still use without having to use the pro features. I think for now I'm just gonna go with Francis Thin and then we can always change it later on. And I'm just going to drag it over to like the right corner. Now what I wanna do is I wanna actually go and add a circle frame so they can put their logo there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here where it says elements and I'm gonna scroll down elements to where we see frames. And right here there's a circle frame so we're gonna click that circle frame and we are going to just drag the arrows to make it smaller and put it over here in the right corner. So what will happen is what they'll be able to do is they'll easily be able to drag a picture into their logo and put it right here. So let me show you guys. Okay, so what I can do is actually go over here to my logo and just drag and drop it into that into that photo frame. See how easy that is for them so they can easily just put their logo there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to text. We're just gonna be using a lot of text for this and we're gonna go to the small where it says add a little bit of body text and we're gonna put invoice number that way they can keep track of everything. And then we're just gonna put the pound sign, hashtag sign, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> and that way they know that right here is where they can put in the actual invoice number. We're gonna actually make that a lot smaller. Once again, you can also change all of this text, but right now we're just gonna drag it and put it over here. Okay, now to make things easier, I'm just gonna duplicate this right here where it says duplicate. I'm gonna drag it over here so I can just put in the date. Now we're gonna add a bill to section. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we want to get a square. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually grab the line right here because if I use one of these, it's gonna make me fill it in with a certain color and I just kinda want the outline. And we're gonna go over to where it says line style so we can actually make that way more thin. So I just scroll it all the way down to as low as it goes. And I'm gonna duplicate that, move it down here, move it to about this size and then we need another line which we will also just make it small and then we are going to turn it so just like that and then I will also duplicate this and we'll put it on the other side and this is how you can make your own triangle if you can't find the exact shape you're looking for and you don't want to have to fill it in okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mouse and we're gonna we're gonna press down the mouse and then drag. That way we can select all four of these lines. And then what you'll do is you're gonna go, no, we're, yeah, we're gonna go to group. So that way they're gonna stay together. So now when I go to move it, it all moves together. Cause otherwise if I press one of these lines and I go to move it, just that line will move and not the whole thing we created. So we want the whole rectangle to move. So we're gonna come and move it up here now. Now we're gonna go back to text again and we're gonna put in a small text and we're gonna make it say build to. So build to. And then to make things even easier for them, we can add another one 
and it will say company slash client name and then city state and then their email I want this to all be straight so we're just going to align it to the left this is obviously going to be a lot smaller like this okay so now we want to add another thing of text and we're going to drag it over here so this is going to be where they're going to put their company and their name the person actually sending out the invoice so if i was sending out the invoice this is where i would put you know my company and name and everything so I'm going to write your company slash name and then my company and address and everything. So I'm going to just, I'm actually just going to duplicate this and I'm going to bring it over here. This is looking really nice so far. So now I want to make like a chart. We're going to bring it up about right there. And then we are going to duplicate that line. I believe we're going to move it to about there, but we might have to do some moving around, but that's what we're going to do for right now. Duplicate it again. Now let's take this line and we're going to duplicate it. We'll group it back together when we're done, but this is gonna make it easier. So I wanna take this line and put it about there. And then we are going to duplicate this line again. Put it to about right here. Duplicate it again. Okay, we'll put it there. And put it about there. So let's do one, eight, let's do nine and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to move it down here maybe here we might change it so we're gonna go back to text again you guys and put in a little bit of text and we're gonna put PayPal and then it's gonna be your PayPal at gmail.com or whatever email that you use dot com business name And then we'll do account. I'm going to try adding a little rectangle in here. I'll show you guys. A really small rectangle. Like this size. And I'm going to put it right here. And then you can make it any color you want to by just clicking on it. You can go over to the square. And then you can make it, you know, if you want to make it um, this pretty green color, so pretty you know, kind of neutral nude color. If you want to make it a light pink color, you can. So I could do pink. I could do this neutral color. Any kind of colors that you want to do. To duplicate this, I'm just going to highlight it again and duplicate it, hit it, and then move it over here. So let's put it about here. Same kind of thing. We want four. So we're going to divide it into four sections. Okay, perfect. We can zoom in so we can see things better. Now we're gonna go back to text again and we're gonna do the small text and we're going to put it in caps and we're gonna do a subtotal. And then we're gonna do discount in case they have a discount. Duplicate it and put total amount. Okay. So it looks like that. This to be a lot longer. So about there. About there. This needs to go back to elements again and do another square. Whoops. Do another square. Take it down here. Make it really thin and long. And we're going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it right about there. This is just going to say like, thank you for your purchase. Make sure it's straight. I mean, in the middle. And now all you need to worry about is just going through and kind of tidying everything up, making it look nice, let it have pretty colors. So I'm going to do a speed through of this process. Let you guys still watch me do it, but it's just going to be a time lapse. So you're going to see everything done quickly.
Okay, so now really quick before this video ends, I wanna show you how to actually share it as an edible template, because that's really important to do. So you wanna make sure you click the right button because you don't want anyone that purchases this to be able to make edits to your original version. So the way to make it so they can only make edits to their version is you're gonna go up to share, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to where it says more and where it says template link. And that is what you're gonna use. So you're gonna press template link, you can press copy this, and it says anyone with this link can use this design as a template. Now, you do have to have a pro version for this, just so you know. But then you're just gonna copy that, and it's this link that you will end up selling them. That way, when they press on that link, it will, let me show you what it does, actually. Take that link, and I'm gonna copy and paste it, and this is what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna look just like this. This is the exact screen they will get. They'll get a template created by Carly. Ciara will share with you. Start designing now. And they'll press use this template and then they'll go in and let me just do it. Press use this template and they'll be able to go in and change everything they wanna change. So now they can go and change this gray color if they want to, to be green. And they can change all of it because they're probably just gonna have the one invoice. And now just like that, they made it a green color. So they can actually change it to any color they want to where you can offer different color variations just in case they don't wanna have to go in and do all this. So when you are going to send a link over, you wanna make it look professional still. So what you'll do is you will actually send over, let me show you. So what you would do is you'll send over something like this. So I have, I made this myself and this says, thank you for your order. I cannot wait for you to grow your business, but you'll put thank you for your order, something to do with the, uh, editable template you made and then right here it says edit editable template below and what you will do is you will go in here and you can actually change this to say invoice and then you'll click on where it says invoice and then you'll go to where it has the link button you're gonna press link you will delete what's in there and then you will copy that you'll paste that link that we just copied and then it will be linked in there and so when they click on this, what you'll do, well, you're gonna download this as a PDF. So once you link it like I just did, what you'll do then is you will go to download and you will go to where it says PDF standard and you will save this document as a PDF. So when they purchase, they're gonna get this, this whole page and then when they click on this, it's gonna take them to the template that I showed you before and where they can then go and edit and customize that. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys want a video about me actually making one of these for you guys, I can do that and show you guys how to make your own version of this. There you go, that's how you make your own invoice and I really hope that helps you guys out. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this invoice template from start to finish. And if there's anything else that you guys would like to see me make next, make sure you put down in the comments below. Also tell me, do you guys like actually watching me do this from start to finish, showing you everything and explaining everything? Or would you rather me speed it up a bit and just kind of do a time lapse of me doing it quickly without actually explaining everything? I want to make sure I create the videos that you guys really want to actually watch and see and that really do provide value. So you guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys would like to see more videos like this. Okay, thank you. You guys have a great day. Bye.